And I've got to kind of put a flex on there a little bit as I go. You know what I mean? To get it down in between that and the insulation. It's kind of, kind of tricky. But I think I can, I think I can, can do it. I just have to finagle it. But see, and I'm, I've got to try to make sure to, uh, to not gouge into the insulation in here as I'm pushing this down. It, I'm trying to keep it pushed up against the wall as I'm shoving it down right now. The drill is right up tight to the wall here. And that's the beauty of this flexi bit. Okay, I got it down there. Okay, and I think that's where I'm gonna that's where I'm gonna drill it right there, right smack dab, right there. Get my uh, get my gloves on. Get that ratcheted uh, drill end on there and see see what I can do here. Huh? Cross my fingers. Okay. Oh, I gotta make sure I'm on I'm in forward instead of reverse. Which I am. Okay, I think I'm good. I'm good to go right there. I think I'm just I think I'm just gonna go for it. There's no other uh, electrical there per se. You know, I do have let's see if I can get this off. I do have a light switch there. You see the light switch? And so my wall cavity, only this wide. And chances are the power from this probably is not going down over here, but I want to make sure uh, I'm not right up next to a stud where there's a wire going down there where I could mess up a, a wire. Let's see, because see, I can, I can reach over to here, and that's where the wood is, and there's nothing over there, so I'm glad, I, I'm, glad I'm checking that. And I'm keeping pressure on there because because it kind of slid out that way I want to try to keep it up tight if I can keep pressure on it and put this on here Let's see what we can do about drilling the hole here see I didn't think this kind of drill would work I was right this ratcheted drill is not going to work for that, so I'm glad. I'm glad. Wow. I'm glad I have this extra drill. Okay. So, I'm just going to have to put, put the end on here. Oh. I guess I was going the wrong way. Make sure i got it on forward, and I've got it on, actually, hey, come on, it's happening. I think I'm, I think I was going the wrong direction there, sorry about that. got it on low. I'm going to feel this back here and make sure I'm up tight to the wall. I am. And I can have it out a little bit. I'm going to put my glove back on. I've got it on low. Now I should be able to drill it through there. Okay. How else are you going to drill this if you don't have a flexi bit? And I've got to keep that 
keep this away from the wall here a little, you know, so it doesn't hit that. And as I'm doing that, I want to make sure my, my fingers, my glove doesn't wrap around there too, because that would be real, really bad. Okay. if I have this, oh, maybe I had it, I tightened up the, the chuck thing uh, to screw, and hopefully I'm not on a nail or something. I think I'm almost through. I think I'm through the two by four plate, two by six plate, and now, now I've got to drill through the subfloor plywood. Okay, up down, it's through. And see the other, now I've got to gently pull that back up. Here it comes. Okay, there, there we go. Get that. Did it. The other reason, the other reason why I wanted to keep the, the drill bit pulled up tight there is because on the outside uh, plate, you've got a two by six wall plate there, and then underneath that you've got the subfloor, the plywood subfloor underneath that. But then underneath that you got like a belly band on the outside edge, on the exterior side edge, that's probably an inch and three quarter because they're using uh, TJIs. There's about an inch and three quarters there that I don't want to get, I didn't want to get into that as I'm drilling my hole. See, that's why I wanted to keep it up tight. And if I could have, if that was down further and, see, I think I can, I can, I think I can fish a wire down there from here down into that hole because it's a three quarter inch hole. But if I couldn't, I could, I could, I could pull the bit, I could pull the bit off of there. Well, actually, here, I would take that drill back in there, drill it down, push that down through there, uh, two and a half inches, three inches, so I could get the end, so I could get this end off, okay? I would take the end off, push that down hard, and pull that off. You with me? Then this is underneath the house. Then I would take this. This is underneath the house. Then I would put I would put that in there. Okay? Like that. And and this, this pushes out. See how much bigger it gets? It's never been used yet, so I would have to just bend it a little, you know, push it a little bit, and pretty soon that hole would get bigger, and I would put my Romex cable in there, all the way up in there, from down underneath. And then I would come back up here and pull this. That's still connected to this drill. Okay, I would pull this right up out of the, right up out of the wall. But in this case, I don't think I have to do that because I'm thinking I can just fish, fish down the wire here and, uh, and push it down a little bit, then go underneath the house and pull on it some more. So I've got, I've got my wire here, so that's my next step. Yay. I've got my, my wire. And I, I ended up getting 250 feet because I'm always going to use this stuff for other things. And so I can, I can just cut a hole on this and leave the rest of the plastic on here if I want. You know, for now until my roll gets smaller, let's say. And that'll keep it from unrolling. And see, here's the end of it right there. And I can just pull it out of there. 
and this will hold everything together um, for quite some time, okay? So, and I only have to get it, I only have to get it underneath the floor four or five feet because that's where I'm going to put, that's where I'm going to put a junction box, a two gang junction box. And I'll probably use this one that's got a little flap on it. Screw that right there. And I'm going to put, I'm going to put uh, electrical outlet and a wire, uh, a uh, light switch down there. And you remember that that junction box is also going to be for the power. Now bring up a, a wire, another wire out of there. Boom, 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 all the way over to that electrical outlet right here. That's why I'm taking, see right there. That's why I'm taking, uh, that's why I had to remove this electrical outlet over here and the box. Not because the electrical outlet was bad or the box was bad, but I needed to get down there and drill. And you can do the same thing, you know? Okay, so I'm going to get my drill out of the way here. I should, I should have more drops down than just this because I don't want to mess up my floor. But you see, I can, I can pull, I can pull this out. And the wire, you see, I've got the tips coming out of there, and I don't think that's going to stick on anything. If you had an issue with it, you could wrap electrical uh, tape around the end. In fact, maybe I should. I have some here, so let's just use it, shall we? We shall. We shall. I'm, I'm going to actually pull this off long. I'm going to fold up the end on itself so that I'll be able to grab it later. It's the most maddening thing is, is to wrap a cord and then not be able to find the end and undo it. So I've done that just a little. I think I, hopefully it's not going to hold me up from going through that hole down there. You know what I mean? Okay, maybe I'll run another, I'll run another one. See, even when it goes back on the roll, it's hard to find. Sometimes. I'll just, I'll just wrap, wrap that, that end, grab that, and then zip this up kind of at an angle so it'll be easy for me to, to get okay, like that. Okay, there. Now, the tricky part is to fish that down there. So, you know, just bend it with your with the natural curve, and I know about where it's at. And see, I can't I can't get all the way down there with my fingers. I can get down there a ways with my hand, but not all the way. You know what I mean? So we'll see if I can't if I can't find where that hole is. It would take a little few minutes here to oh there I found it. Okay. I believe I found it. Pretty sure I did. Okay. Well, I thought I did. Okay. I'm going to go underneath the house and see if I can't see that. I don't think it's... Eh, I might have pulled it out of the hole. Uh, yeah, I think it... Yeah, it's going. Okay. See, as I recall, there's another wall down there and it's probably hitting that. And so where it's at, I'm gonna to have to pull it down further, okay? I wanna make sure 
I've got enough here so that when I pull, it's not going to gouge up the side of the wall. Okay? So now, let's go underneath the house, see if we can't find that. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.